Hello and welcome to Flory Models Roundup Show. Here we are on Friday the 14th of August 2020. Halfway through the month already. September will be near here, then it'll be autumn, it's Christmas. Yes, moving on very quickly. As you can tell, time's flying. Anyway, speaking of things flying, as you can see, we have now finished the DC-10. Um, I haven't quite finished the actual editing for it yet. I was really hoping to get it up today. Uh, I need to photograph it really outside. It's a bit too big to do in the studio. The weather's not playing ball for once. It's actually raining. So uh, I hopefully I'll get it recorded over the weekend, get that edited up, and then uh, obviously we'll be uh, good to go on Monday for the final part of this one, which will be part 12, with the final reveal and all the things that go with it. It's been a long old struggle. You've seen me week after week talk about this thing and all the rest of it. I am now into that official phase where I'm glad I did it. You know, this is one of those kits where to start with, it seemed quite straightforward. You know, the, the plastic was horrible. The kit was a nightmare. It had fit issues. It had shape issues. But actually, like I've always said, for a modeler, it's nothing you can't fix. There's literally nothing you cannot change on a model or improve or something else. That's what you do as modeling. But anyway, the more I get into it, the more you're thinking, this is a lot of work, and this is definitely not a Tamiya kit by any strange in the imagination. But anyway, she is done now. As you can see, the refueling is on there, got the baskets on there. The guys are actually making me some uh, aircraft to actually to air to air refuel on this. And then hopefully, when we get back to doing things back to normal, perhaps doing shows even and stuff like that, then obviously I'll bring this particular aircraft along with us, and then the guys can bring some different aircraft and we can do refueling, little diorama with it, so you guys can see it at the show. As soon as we can, get together as a group because obviously with social distancing and stuff like that obviously we can't get together at the moment but when we will we're we'll obviously get some nice photos done with it all and then obviously with the aircraft refueling and stuff like that but for the moment it will be just on our own just like that but anyway as you can probably see over here uh, part 11 uh, actually went up on Monday uh, as we're working our way through with this one. So part 11 really spoke about the uh, windows, uh, doing the eyebrow windows for this particular one, uh, how we went about doing those, fitting those on there. Obviously all the glass work at the front, which I was really happy about at the end of the day. And then we went through the motions of going through with the actual uh, weathering on for this one. So for this was literally uh, washes galore of obviously flooring models wash right the way over it, you saw in part 10. And then in here we've used oil. So we've used oil's neat and we've used them thin as well just to break it up and uh, hopefully as you can see it's now looking pretty good at the end of the day she's all here all together uh, and now looking the part in this thing it's that you know there's a little bit of a trade-off between what you see and what I see for me here she looks spot on it seems quite light and gray but as I look at the camera with it the wings look quite dark and that and this is one of those things where you know I wanted it to look worn uh, as if she's been perhaps out in the gulf doing a lot of tanking work things like that so she is showing a bit of wear and tear I didn't want her to be a total show bird there was the thought a little bit back that I might do a, a, a little bit uh, younger in her year shall we say and in that sort of normal white with the grey livery and things like that but no we've gone for the all over but again you can probably see on here there's different shades of grey right the way over it as was on the real thing as well so I have to say it's nice it's over I will say that it's nice that it's over I'm glad I've done it would I build another one no there's not many models I would actually say that uh, most models are turn around and you know you get that thing like toothache as I say so you come along and you think to yourself do you know what it was well worth it in the end and all the rest and perhaps it wasn't that bad yeah I don't think I would go into this one not when you've got to chop the front off not we did quite a lot of glass work I don't think I, I covered it probably particularly well in the video build for it we showed all about it but it caused me a lot of sleepless nights making out how we're going to fix that and we've made the windows bigger we've completely realigned them they're actually a lot higher than what it would be with the actual kit parts and stuff like that so by the time we've sort of dropped the nose and then we've lifted the windows up and then had to reshape the entire front end that was a little bit of a nightmare but just generally just all the fit issues and the various things onto this one it's definitely not a kit for the beginner if you're you know you're new to the hobby and that you probably don't want to go near mac 2 you know stick with your mainstream kits as you make your way through but anybody who's got you know mediocre modeling skills and onwards then I would like to say go for it because it is the only one and we often speak about bad kits we were talking about it on the show last night and me and Matt spoken them on the PM shows as well about like when Eddard do reboxings uh, and sometimes they're not the best kits 
but they're the only one and that is the point so we know there's another couple of options out on this one but i don't think they're any better uh so if you do want a 70 second airliner fleet to perhaps go along with the airfix ones and to be honest just out of shot i've got all of the others if you like from this particular family so we've got nimrods we've got victors we've got valiants obviously we've got the vulcan coming along soon as well and that's that sort of family of aircraft and it is quite nice that eventually i will get around to doing them all and they're all in this scale but hopefully those will be a lot easier yeah, and definitely the Vulcan. Looking forward to the Vulcan when that one comes out. But anyway, it, it is done. It will be finished off. Obviously, I won't be here on Monday uh, to talk about it with you, but it will be up on Monday for you so you can actually see the final part of that one as it makes its way through. But has been a lot of fun. Now I've just got to find somewhere to put it. So it's probably going to come out on a wall hanger like the other ones. In fact, I have got a bit just behind the camera. I've got a lovely picture of a mosquito up there. That's going to have to move. And this, I think, is going to become a wall hanger a little bit like these over there until she's ready to go to shows and then we can do it. Because it's in flight, it's ideal for hanging on the wall as well as we make our way through on that one. Anyway, on Tuesday, we were talking all things Q&A as you might imagine on this one so actually this is the Q&A show so if you haven't seen it you can go back and have a look at that one it's answering all your questions as we make our way through we were speaking uh, a lot as you can see down on this side we we're talking about hydraulic streaking and things like that and the colors that I actually use for it but generally all your questions and everything was answered down there on Tuesday right the way through so if you want to go off and see that one you can see that on the Tuesday show on Wednesday obviously it's the PM show with me and Matt if you haven't seen one of these before this is obviously the PM side of things uh, I co-own with Matt uh, PM Models UK uh, up at Doncaster so it's our chance to have a look at the kit this week's new releases what specials that we've got on offer at the moment uh, as we make our way through and talk all things modeling and again answering your questions and about what things are coming up in the future and everything else like that always a little bit of fun if you're into obviously just kits and talking kits and things like that rather than building them and all the techniques that's definitely well worth having a look at that one it's quite a long show this week we were about an hour on that one so it's a little bit long than normally normally we do around about half an hour but again some fantastic stuff and obviously uh, we we're talking about the kits that I'm building in the future and various future releases as you can see down here on that so that was on Wednesday so if you want to see that one you can see that one you can uh, I've also did two reviews this week so we did the Spitfire review and um, was quite rightly pointed out to me the fuselages are different are they really though <laughs> it's only riveting detail as far as i can see that goes over the fuel tank the forward fuel tank um but anyway that's literally the differences between the fuselage but in the review i do say identical no i yeah i'm acutely aware they are a little bit different but from a layman looking at it I, you'd be hard pressed to see the difference okay uh between the two on that one but anyway that is a gorgeous gorgeous kit right the way through and um stay tuned i'm actually going to be building it so uh, that's the plan for this one. I know a lot of people, uh, I've had a bit of feedback, people saying that in-house decals aren't very nice and stuff. To be honest with you, I've built a lot of this stuff. I've never really had a problem with their own decals. Um, you know, they've always been quite kind to me. So it'll be interesting to see if they are any good. But as I said, there's a lot of people on the net saying that they're no good and all the rest of it. We'll, we'll see because I'm going to build it. I might even do both. Um, as I say, I don't think it's going to take too much time to do both. I'll do one as an early Mark 1 and one as a late Mark 1, uh, obviously. Uh, and we'll go through on that one. So that one will probably be next month. Um, as I say, I've got a bill we'll talk about in a moment. That'll be my next one. I'll be starting next week. Afterwards, I'll do this one. Obviously, it's uh, Battle of Britain and various things going on for the anniversary of that. So I am going to do a Hurricane and a Spitfire for that particular build on that one right the way through. So if you want to see that kit go together, keep an eye on the site. We'll be talking about that one from, I think, around about mid-September. I'll be getting on with that one as we make our way through. The other kit that we actually had up was this gorgeous one, which is the um, obviously the P-51 uh, Tales of uh, Iwo Jima absolutely gorgeous uh, obviously we were talking a lot about the kits uh, on the actual Wednesday show but generally I was talking about this on the review how I love their detailing the way that they do their sprue work their tooling is absolutely second to none even on the blind side the molds are absolutely beautifully polished and all the rest of it and a lovely little you know I, it's just one of those things a lot of people call it a gimmick but I love the little touch of the pin badge so have a look at the review on that. Each one gets that kit will actually get the pin badge in there with it as well, which I wasn't even aware it came with it. But again, it's something, just a little tiny something is really, really nice. But again, 
beautiful box art something very very nice about that one and uh, so it'd be interesting to see if we will be able to get these as prints and things like that because I've been harping on about them doing them as prints or on canvases it'd be really nice to actually have those as uh, hanging on the studio wall uh, but again another beautiful kit nice bit of photo etch in there you do get the resin wheels and the various bits and pieces as well everything you really need to make a very nice uh, long range Mustang so that one is up on there Thursday night was last night was me and the guys as you can see fun and games and ever so it's me Matt and John were on last night and we were talking obviously all things all questions loads of your stuff I think we were on just about just under two hours last night when we was going through remember if you want to get involved with that one please post up your questions in the forum it's a lot easier for us to answer them like we did last night that's me um wrapping live on air uh, a delivery from Pierre models down to me which is what we got next to us okay so that was up last night so if you want to go off and have a look at that one you can do it'll be absolute pleasure so that brings us back up to date. That was this week. Again, it's one of those ones where it didn't look particularly busy, but actually it's been absolutely manic here going through on this one. So this is the bits and pieces that came in. Hopefully you can see them just behind here. Again, next week we've got a couple of other reviews coming out. We would talk about it on the PM store. So next week we've got the actual review of the Chieftain. This is the little 70 second ones, which actually look beautiful from what I've seen. So it'd be interesting for a review those and see what they're like. The Lysander, because we've been talking about it forever, uh, and a few people were talking about that one last night, so it'll be interesting to see that kit. So we've got the review of that one coming up. We've got the Wildcat by Armour Hobbies. You might know, as we were just about to talk about, I am a bit of a fanboy of Armour Hobbies, but I've never built one. So I'm going to rectify that. This is what I'm going to be doing actually next week is starting on this one. This is the Hurricane Mark 1. I've already done a review of it. You can go off and see that one now. But uh, I thought, say, little thing for Battle of Britain anniversary and stuff like that. But also, I've never built an Armour Hobbies kit. And looking at it, seeing the review, and then looking at it and going through all the rest of it, it was absolutely blown away by the detail. And after doing something this big, I really thought it'd be nice to work on something just a little bit smaller shall we say so uh, we're going to be doing a small 70 seconds so a lot of people always asking me Phil you always do these big massive expensive kits and things like that how about doing something a little bit smaller and nice there you go so for the next couple of builds we're going to be doing the hurricane and obviously we're going to be doing the spitfires so nice little kits working our way through and again we can then talk about different ways of airbrushing them and painting them obviously certainly on the 70 second scale stuff and on the 48 so we've got lots of camo type things coming up on there and then obviously the differences with the scale with the weather in and different ways you might want to approach it and stuff so hopefully it'd be plenty of interesting stuff to come on with that one after that I might be doing something blue not doing the wildcat something a little bit bigger than that but um, it's got a cat in it let's just simply say that so uh, that'll be the one after that so we've got lots of great builds coming up as we make our way through a uh, couple of things on the forum uh, so over on the forum uh, you might notice that I've been in here cleaning up everything so there's lots of things been moved around and tidied up and stuff like that down in the group build areas because obviously we've got the group builds going on at the moment we have got the 80th anniversary as a buddy build uh, at the moment because obviously it's not a full group build or a SIG uh, so that is down in there if you want to get and join in with that one and say I will be joining in with my Hurricanes and Spitfires so later on okay so that's that one down in there the current uh, SIG going on at the moment is obviously Bulge to Berlin that one's got a little while uh, to run uh, till the 31st okay so then that one will finish in there that's obviously that SIG completed so at the moment we've got 38 finishes in that one uh, 98 on the go so it might be time to push ahead guys just two weeks left on that one to go through and then obviously the current group build that's going on at the moment is the actual movie group build and in there we've got 132 current entries onto that one 26 have been finished but you're good until the end of the year on that one till 31st of December before that ends okay so we've got lots of stuff going on down in there uh, down in here you might notice obviously we've tidied up the latin uh, america um, uh, sig that's been now done so if you had a build on the go that's been put into the work in progress areas and the completed uh, builds all down in here in the final reveal section just down in here as is the covid build now the covid build i'm going to be working on that one next week to give you a final reveal video of that one as we make our way through okay the other thing just to mention obviously um some of you are 
say medals because you've been away or you haven't been actually on the site for the last couple of weeks I did ask for them a couple of weeks ago now for your names and addresses as I said last night I think there's only about seven I think that's now six for you because somebody got in contact with me overnight uh, saying about they were one of the ones for the medals so uh, there's only literally I think there is six or seven of you still haven't actually uh, asked for your medal and the various bits and pieces like that so as I say send me over your address if you've already sent me an address it's already gone as of I sit here today I am completely up to date with all orders everything has gone out all right so from that point of view we are literally completely up to date so if anybody needs to send me anything just get on with it and then i can get them out next week and we'll call it quits on that one all right speaking of those things uh just to say uh we have had I just pop here. Full restock is back in now for all of our sanders uh, and everything. So as you can see down here, we've got 105 in stock of the starter sets. Uh, we've got 86 of the giant packs as well. The uh, buffer, which was a limited edition, and it obviously only went out to members. We've got a few left over, so we've got like 60 sets left over. So now they're available out to the general public as well. But we are now completely up to date and fully in stock with everything, with washes, uh, so forth and so on all right so they are all in stock there now just a point as well that Brett from um, high altitude hobbies obviously if you're in the US or that part of the world or even perhaps around the Pacific area you might want to buy from them because delivery chain times might be shorter and obviously uh, cost of shipping may be lower as well than obviously what we can offer here from the UK okay so Brett has got a full allocation I checked the track in uh, it's on his way to him he's apparently he's gonna get it on Monday it's out for delivery on Monday um, so he will have have a full restock of everything in there as well okay so if you're looking for anything from that part of the world then please use our other one so we've got Brevco for the, in the EU and then obviously we've got how to hobbies in North America but basically handling that side of it as well so I know acutely aware these days that uh, well shipping costs are quite expensive uh, literally compared to the UK there's nothing we can do about it shipping is what it costs unfortunately but um, you might be able to get it cheaper a little bit closer to home as we go on that one Anyway, I have done at last, and I know I'm a little bit behind with it, but the final reveal video for the actual Latin uh, America group build, it was a fantastic one. You guys, again, embraced it as it should be. And the whole point of us doing that particular group build was we wanted to make it a little bit more colorful, okay? And we wanted to take people out of their comfort area without dropping them completely in it. Like, let's face it, we're not asking you all to do figure painting and things, okay? But we wanted to push it to perhaps you have a go at camo work you've never done before, or perhaps even aircraft you've never done before, or armor or vehicles and stuff like that. But anyway, you guys fully embraced it. We had some amazing stuff come out there. And even though some of the aircraft, there's quite a few different ones in there like the AMX and Tucanos and things like that it was great to see the very you know the varied choices that you guys did for markings and types and stuff like that so it was great to see some of those especially the Tucanos seeing it in the digital scheme was fantastic the Toucan one as well that is absolutely gorgeous so it's really nice to see those but also we got fantastic vehicles in there we got the Beetle which actually blew me away it's a beautiful one as well and so forth and so on so anyway thank you to everybody who takes part in the group builds like we said before it's not just all about getting a medal and a pack of sanders and all the rest of it that we give away the whole point is you're leaving something there on the forum forever that other modelers can come along in time and then hopefully see how you built it and draw either inspiration from it or get ideas or if you found problems to point them out so then obviously other people learn from your build and don't make any mistakes like you might have made or something else like that so basically what i do with video format in photo format so that's why we do it and also it's great for us all to come together and build similar subjects and it is a really really nice touch so you guys coming together helping each other out with ideas spare parts bits and pieces like that that's the whole thing about the group builds it's bringing us all together a little bit of a subject matter that we can all get in with and then just doing our builds on us that way and it's absolutely fantastic so anyway that's about it from me have a lovely weekend i will see you on tuesday the final part of this will be up with you on monday so you can see the final reveal for this one as we make our way through so there we go i'm going to leave you then with that fantastic work from the latin america group build happy modeling take care <laughs>